Hi everyone, it's Carolyn here to share another channeled message from the Light Keepers, a group of angelic beings I channel on a regular basis for your awakening journey support. So today's channels are really supportive of the awakening journey in the sense of how, you know, we get frustrated at times and we don't know our path forward. We don't understand it. And of course, as humans, we want to plan it all out and know the future. Okay, so that's what these two are about. And then what I'm going to do is share my experiences and really talk about this topic. So thank you so much for joining me today. Again, I'm Carolyn. I'm a channel. I'm a distance energy healer and I'm a spiritual awakening mentor. And for those of you who are new, I have a welcome video that you can check out on my YouTube channel, Carolyn Zeiser, a little bit more about me, about my channeling and how I kind of came into my gifts. In addition to that, I offer a video on flow free for you below in the description box. And then you can check that out and get six tips on how to create more flow in your body for health and wellness during the awakening. And so then from there, it will lead you to a lot more free content. So thank you, and I hope you will join me. So here we go with the first channel. I am going to share two today because they are similar in nature. And then we'll go ahead and discuss them. Never think that what you are going through is pointless or ponder why you must endure. For each situation sets up for a series of actions and events that you cannot understand in your human form. Only time will tell how all the pieces will be put together. Now that's a very short piece, but it has great meaning in it in the sense that as we move through this awakening journey, we do not understand what is coming down the road for us, what we're doing today has to do with maybe even tomorrow, and how all the multitude of pieces get put together. And when I talk about pieces, I'm talking about the energies and the changes and shifts in the planets, the sun energy shifts and changes, the moon, all of that, that affects us, the upgrades that we receive. And you know about those and all those bodily shifts and changes, these gifts that waken within us, whether it be, you know, you're off the charts with all your intuitive gifts, or you're receiving signs and messages during your awakening journey that you've never experienced before. Like the numbers, it's as simple as that. That's a gift to be able to see numbers regularly and that you understand that they mean something. So but the thing is what we do so much is we want a planned out, well, planned out plan. <laughs> but the thing is that doesn't work in this journey, yeah, it might have worked in our 3D world where we had to plot and plan and we think that, you know, we have to work hard and all of that. But what this truly is, is a stepping back, a taking what comes, a true surrendering of, okay, just focus on being and knowing that regardless of whether it is a difficult situation coming into our awareness or something joyful, or just another step along the way, even nothing, because there are a lot of those periods of time where you just feel like you're not doing anything or moving forward. And what does that even mean? So let that go. Just let that whole idea go of, I have to move forward. No, it just is gonna come naturally. I have seen it exponentially in my life. Now, I will tell you in the early days, I was working hard, okay? I was working real hard. Um, but at the same time, I was meditating a lot. I was very connected. So I feel like it was kind of balancing itself out a little bit. But at the same time, it wasn't with ease and grace. And honestly, only in the last few months, actually 2019, something dramatic has shifted for me in the sense of being able to go to that place of calm clarity, understanding that the really struggle of a day that I'm having at a particular time is gonna to change tomorrow. And literally it's true. On a dime, it will change in the sense of, you would never have expected what's, what happened yesterday would lead to what you're experiencing today. But for some reason it does, somehow it connects. But don't try to figure it out because all that does is bring in that heavy, what I call 3D energy in, to that space of what is truly flow and grace of a process 
we do not understand. I don't care how many channels I do every single day. Um, I don't care how much everybody else gives you information on videos or whatever about the journey. We still do not understand it, and we don't need to, okay? And the next channel that I'm going to share here speaks to the we don't need to and how to understand moving forward. But the point is, is sit back, breathe, even in the difficult times, particularly in the difficult times, let it flow, let it go, because the more you fight it, the more you try to figure it out, the more you try to do things and push against it, the longer that's going to last. And I'm, I'm here to tell you that's what's happened with me. So in what I've done in 219 is when things have come my way, like they said, these, the pieces of this journey that show up and we don't understand why and how they fit together. Breathe, step back, take care of yourself. And we've spoken a lot about this in the past. And just know this is part of the journey. You don't have to go figure this out. Don't wrap your mind up and use energy for that. Just know you're being taken care of. And the more that you can step back and let that flow happen, and when I say flow, it's like let the universe take over because they do, it does. Our higher selves do. And it just, it just is easier to allow it to happen when we participate in a calmer way. So I'm going to go to the next channel now because it speaks really to signals and signs on how to know kind of what to do next. Okay, here we go. Spontaneous joy and inspiration is a sign of a happy heart. The soul of you wishing to reach out and express itself in full form. So break out in dance, in song, in an explosion of creation when the light-filled rays break through the human haze, pushing away tough times and grayness of days. And now with the boundlessness of your soul, launching you forward into the light of this new day, one that your soul lives always in fullness. You come along, living your life together now as one. So this speaks to helping us understand how we know to take action in many ways. And that is when we feel inspiration, joy, happiness, love for something. And forget what it is, follow that thread, follow that thread. Because there's a lot in the human life, at least in mine, where things are just kind of, I mean, I'm appreciative, but you know, they're part of human life, right? And it's not like I get all jazzed up about a lot of the stuff I do during the day that is, mm, you know, the uh, more mundane. But on occasion, what will happen when you allow it is you will receive inspiration and in oftentimes in more than just one way on a thing and follow that thread because so many times we get an inspiration and we go whoop, like a gnat, like get out of here because I don't have time to think about that or what does that got to even have to do with anything? And that inspiration might just not come in a thought form. It may come, I don't know, out of the, uh, out of, I don't know, some YouTube channel you're watching or besides a message is being put together or something out in nature, whatever it is. If it makes you feel joy and happiness and you're like, I really want to do that or I love doing this. Or you notice that whenever you do this thing or these kinds of things, you are filled with the most amazing, amazing passion and joy and love for this. That's a sign for you to take a look at this and say, wow, what if I was doing something like that all the time? What would my life be like? Would it not be amazing? Because oftentimes what will happen is you'll have signs and messages come your way like that, that your body will just be filled with joy and happiness. And so the point that they make here is that this is opportunity for receiving a sign. Like they said, um, the light filled haze when it breaks through the human, that's that inspiration. That's that passion. That's that joy. Watch for that in your journey. Now, I know there's lots of struggles and difficult things, but as we go through this journey, each day is different. It'll literally each day is different. And you're going to have things come in your way because you're going through the awakening. That magical stuff starts to happen. All right. And then you're going to be able to start picking up on these inspirations. So again, I go back to, and I'll leave you with this. Um, 
you got to find the space and the calmness and quietness in your day, too, to be able to hear all that. So balance that out with the hectic pace that a lot of us lead in our lives, even while we're going through the awakening, because it's not like we just were able to th throw away our 3G way of living completely, okay? But we can manage it differently. So meditation, quietness, time for yourself, getting out of nature is key to connecting and being able to hear those inspirations. So I will leave this with you today to ponder on your own. And just to leave you with a final message that I do spiritual awakening mentoring. It's one of my services in my Purple Rain Healing business. I would love to work with you. I'm working with so many of you right now, helping you launch forward in your journey through one-on-one -on -one mentoring where I bring in your spirit team and your higher selves and we have a conversation with them. And you take a lot of information away along with information that I provide you for your awakening journey, my experiences. And then we bring in our spirit team and we have an amazing conversation. So that's been immensely helpful for people I've been working with and I would love to work with you as well. That said, I will see you in the next video and thank you so much for joining me.